Because of the coin shortage, there is no coins for me to coin or hunt. So instead, I'm gonna do a video showing my coin collection, coin by coin. Now, I have lots of coins. I've gotten them mostly from coin dealers, antique shops, eBay for the wheat pennies. Got some wheat penny rolls. And, um, I think that's all. And I'm just gonna show you them coin by coin. So first of all, um, I have almost every year for the wheat cents. If this could focus, I think I have two... Wait, this is 1910. Um, I have an 09 somewhere around here, but my wheat pennies are not, um, like, I keep knocking them over all the time. But, um, I have almost every year, except, um, the early Great, De Great Depression, and I don't have all the mints. But, um, yeah, and... Next, I have some other wheat scents here um, that I kept aside because they were a bit nicer. Some of them are brown but have amazing detail. Like, they could be like brown AU to mint state. And I have some like red brown and I have some better Lincoln Memorial scents and 309s, which are all different designs. I already checked this 09 for um, the finger variety um in my scope hunt last video um i bought a roll of cool liberty v nickels but there's only 36 now that i count although i know i had 40 before because i counted them so they got lost somehow i have some jefferson nickels that i've gotten for my hunts i'll get to the 1871 dollar soon I have some barber quarters. That's the price I got them for at the coin dealer. It was a coin dealer in Texas when I went to Texas for a family vacation. This is, um, so I got this a couple of days ago along with two other coins. So it's one of my newest things, a 1964 proof set. The other two things I got was my first Walking Liberty silver dollar and my first beast dollar a 1923 in uncirculated condition at first i thought that was an eight but now that i look at it it's a three. Oh, it even looks like an eight on camera but um it's a three in real life not camera um i'll go through this whole page i have eight silver kennedys 1969 denver all of them and um some of them are upside down because um i like to keep the shiny side up the other side has um problems like uh they're kind of like dark but um uh it's a crazy story behind these entities what happened i went to the bank in my early coral hunting days with like a hundred bucks asking for hundred dollars worth of Kennedy halves and they said we only have eight and gave me these eight all silver I also got a 1901 barber dime in Texas 1819 large cent my oldest coin here one sec let me try and get it to focus uh, yeah you can't see it well um, but I promise it's an 1819 large cent. Uh, what else? I have a couple of Indian head cents here, worthless, they're from the 1900s, and a hold one from 1890. I have a 1926 Standing Liberty Quarter that I got out of flea market. Um, a 2005 San Francisco proof nickel. It really does not look proof through this. But it is look no there you could see it you could see the proof on the camera here you I, you just gotta shine it in the light yeah you see that and you could also see the san francisco mint mark on there uh, another indian head scent i have a couple of these i found an uncirculated 1965 dime in circulation and this is the only buffalo nickel 
1937 that I found in circulation. I have no NICA date, so I was lucky that one had a date. That's the hold eight. No wait, this is a hold 1900 one I have, and an 1856 dime. See the Liberty that I got in Texas as well. It's New Orleans. What else do I have? Okay. My second oldest coin is an 1853 Arrows and Rays. See the Liberty Quarter. My old, my third oldest was um, the 1856 time. And now for the two dollar coins that I own. This 1884 Morgan dollar I got on the flea market. And um, the 1871 I also got at a flea market. But um, I sent it out to to get graded. Because um, it doesn't look like it on camera, but it's actually amazing condition, like mint state was just some gunk, but it came back as a fake coin. So that was sad, because I got this coin actually for three bucks, but then grading was like 70. And then I have my albums, which I think you've seen in my previous videos where I've been, where I was looking for them for varieties in the scope. I have um, some extra ornicles also in here that I didn't need for some reason. Um, well, first of all, these are all from circulation. And I always forget to pull out 1960 and 1960 Denver because Colonel Hunters don't do that. So, um, yeah, I don't have those yet. But for some reason, I can't get any San Francisco or Denver any San Francisco or Denver um, silver bar nickels. Other than that, um, I have the Penny album, which is hard, which which is heavy and hard to get out of there. So um, I won't show you all the coins inside. Anyways, it's too big. It has I don't know, like 150 different types of coins, maybe more. But you could see it in my scope video. Um, in my latest scope video, the part two, and yeah, same with the Jefferson Nickel album, you could see it in my scope video. Um, oh yeah, one last coin. So I found this coin in my scope video. I got it on eBay for three bucks. Here, one sec, let me take it out. I'm gonna set down my camera for a sec. Okay. It's an 1882 Indian head scent. And um, it has amazing detail, but some damage on the obverse. And um, I got it for three bucks, but turns out it's worth 300 because I found a variety. And um, I'm not gonna tell you about it in this video. To find out, you have to go watch part one of my variety videos to find out why this is rare. And it is pretty cool. You can't see it with the naked eye with the camera. You can only see it under the scope. And that's pretty much it. So thanks for watching. Please subscribe. And hopefully um, I'm going to get some coins soon. I'm planning to get a nickel box next. Maybe two so I can have two videos. And I got to return my box of pennies to the bank. Well... Thanks for watching.